Hello beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Divine Empowerment. My name is Joanne and I am so excited about this reading for you guys. All right beautiful Scorpios. To start off, I get that it's Eight of Swords. You guys have really um, had a lot of blind faith. Just really showing the universe, showing the world, um, stepping out on faith, right? Just this being this prime perfect example of blind faith, right? Some people say blind faith is not always good. <laughs> However, in your case, it is awesome. It is bringing you into the star energy, into alignment with everything, with your destiny, with your abundance, with pretty much anything you can imagine, right? Your higher self, your God, spirit. It is about this stepping into the flow, the flow of energy, your destiny. And it does feel a little strange for you guys. Um, and it's kind of bringing up a little bit of feelings of guilt. Maybe not everyone is experiencing that, right? And then I get the two of shields, just balance. You know, manifestation, slow and steady, slow and steady manifestation here. And you really are just feeling overall balanced in your experience right now. Now, coming up towards this full moon, I do get this Three of Swords energy. And it's not necessarily like self-sabotage or triggering or breakup or heartache or anything like that. No, it's more about dissonance. So when we're manifesting, we're actually shifting vibrationally so that we become a vibrational match for what we want to experience. So you guys have been manifesting, right? You're shifting vibrationally. Well, in order to manifest new circumstances, we become a unmatched with our current situation, right? We become you know, an unvibrational match, which then we're not quite a vibrational match for our new circumstances. So in comes this dissonance. So it's very, very important here that you keep going. I get the six of wands. You keep taking your actions, keep moving towards your intentions and your goals at this time. You guys are capable of manifesting whatever you consciously desire. This dissonance is going to feel heavy. It's going to feel burdensome. Some of you may get derailed, but that's okay. Just start over, right? Because the Six of Wands too says, start over. <laughs> Even if you have to start over, that's okay. Anything and everything, the will of fortune, is going to be in your favor whether you have to start over or you just barrel through the dissonance all will be good now moving past this full moon or up into this full moon it's very important that you create some space to listen to your inner voice this inner voice and sometimes we just have to be still Right, We just have to get in that still moment and listen to our inner guidance, our inner voice. And then it's followed by this experiencing. <laughs> and again, this is kind of where this guilt comes up. Maybe not everyone is experiencing what you're experiencing or vice versa. So listening to your inner voice and experiencing... <laughs> experiencing the manifestation, the manifestation process, the dissonance, the reaching your goals and your intentions and your new circumstances. And you guys are just going to fall into this beautiful space of, I really wouldn't call it joy or bliss, but it's somewhere between gratitude and joy or appreciation and bliss. It'll just be in this 
experiencing everything um, in a really unique, appreciative, gratitude way um, of joy and bliss. And then the dream. This is going to lead you guys to new dreams, fulfilling dreams, actualizing dreams into the physical world. However, there's also going to, it's going to be immediately followed with this suppression energy. Like, it's not achievable. I can't do this. No, it's almost going to feel, you're going to feel guilty again here about, well, if, if I do this, if I follow my dream, <laughs> then I could actually experience my dream. And then what, right? It's very important in this full moon energy that you release any kind of feelings of guilt or suppression or unworthiness, Scorpio. That's the only thing that's gonna stop you from fulfilling your dream, the dream. And pay, pay close attention to the dream because the dream is going to clue you in on what your soul secretly desires to experience in the physical and then being patient <laughs> right being patient you know and as soon as I saw this card I thought of pregnancy right nine months nine long months you know and and it's just it seems like it takes forever right and I recently just um, completed and released a new program, um, Epic Alignment. Um, it's an energy session here that I do with through Divine Empowerment. And it took me nine months to give birth to it. But being patient and releasing any kind of suppression, in other words, sometimes we are the one, we are the only thing that stands between us and actualizing our dreams. And when this happens, you're going to have this flowering, this flowering. Now, it could be, you know, something small. It could be something big, right? It could take nine months. It could take nine minutes or nine hours. Whatever it is, it's going to be special very special special this flowering I mean look at this card all right and then that once that flowering occurs you're immediately going to move into this ten of air energy and it is about possibilities new choices new possibilities for you new paths new Love, levels of awareness. Um, there's this whole unique birthing process that you guys are going to be experiencing. And like I said, it could happen this week and it could happen nine weeks from now, nine months from now, whatever it is, you'll know it. It'll feel very special for you. And then this is going to <laughs> cast you into the summer lands. New beginnings, new opportunities, new manifestation, new dreams new opportunities and you're going to be you're already planting or sowing the seeds for this in this process this patient process you're actually doing this summering seeding right you're throwing the seeds out for the future for manifestation and then realizing what no longer serves you it's very important especially when it comes to beliefs about self, right? How you see yourself, your worthiness. Are you worthy to experience your dreams? Your, your, you know, sometimes we think, oh, you know, I just don't know that I'm worthy enough to actualize my dreams into the physical. So if there's any kind of thought pattern like that going on, make sure that you spend this full moon releasing 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 and then five of fire hmm. <laughs> you're going to go through a lot of transformational um, actions here and it's going to feel like o m g really 
<laughs> suddenly, you know, you're going to have to do this and do that and, and do this over here. And then you're just going to be like, oh my goodness, are my dreams ever going to be actualized? <laughs> that five of fire and these three are in a row. You got the three of swords. You got the suppression here. And then you got this five of fire. So when you get, it's going to be like you're good one moment and then you're going to experience this energy and then you just got to say, oh, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. I get the mother of water. It'll feel like, this is going to feel so heavy and burdensome, but when this mother of water comes in, it's going to be like, oh, <laughs> oh. Suddenly, you're going to feel like you were in the desert all alone, taking all these actions and having to do, take care of all this stuff. And then suddenly, you're going to get this relief. It's going to be this gentle, just relaxing, maybe even like a summer night, you know, rainstorm. You know, sitting down and hearing the rain and seeing the rain just saturate the ground and water the flowers and all of that bringing back to this flowering right and then it ends with the will of the year my goodness scorpios it's like whatever you want the only thing stopping you is you <laughs> right the only thing stopping you scorpio at this time would be you and you definitely, definitely deserve to actualize and manifest your dreams. I'm going to pull a guidance card from the cosmos, from the universe. Let's see, for Scorpios, what kind of guidance does spirit have for them? Oops, here we go. Oh, love it. Oh, wow. Be fearless. Be fearless. Do not be afraid to actualize your dreams into the physical. Be fearless, Scorpios. Awesome. Okay, so definitely if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Tap the bell. Awesome. <laughs> and I do live tarot readings and sites. This way you get notified and you can come and ask me questions. Also, too, I am an advanced soul realignment practitioner. I offer soul realignment level one to new clients, and it's currently on special, 75% off. Um, I will link my email below, and you can send me an email, and we can communicate and get you going. It is amazing. This service is so empowering, so liberating, and it is just this overall sense of freedom, and it is based on intention and it's done through space and time meaning it's pre-recorded on youtube private video comes with a full so full so profile which that information alone is life-changing as well as an extensive um, reading and clearing work we clear any blocks and restrictions towards your intentions you will shift vibrationally at the level of higher self and at the physical level you will feel this work it is phenomenal <laughs> absolutely and um i have actually completed over 5,000 sessions awesome and for my current soul realignment clients you guys that have already been doing soul realignment sessions i have released the epic alignment and i am so excited about that i've started doing those sessions and oh they are fantastic, phenomenal. Cloud nine, clients are saying they feel like they are on cloud nine. <laughs> we actually do clearing work starting from the physical, working up to the higher self, simultaneously doing clearing work from the higher self down to the physical. <laughs> it is epic. Oh my goodness, and I'm not kidding. I'm seeing results with clients in a matter of hours. In a matter of 24 hours, 48 hours, it's been awesome. I am so, so grateful for this. And it actually took me nine months to give birth to this epic alignment session. 
It also comes with three Merkaba um, sessions, adjustments. We do them over a 21 day period. And then it also has a multi-generational past life clearing. <laughs> we look at your karmic debt, your karmic credit, and just so, so much more. Um, those are currently on special for a very limited time. So it's 50% off. It's $222.22, and that special will end August 31st. Blessings into infinity.